This is problem number 26 from Hall and Knight Higher Algebra Chapter 1 Ratios. This problem is similar to problem 25 which we have done and you can see that problem in the playlist. Anyway, so we have again got three equations. So this is equation 1. So I have just written it separately. So ax plus by plus cz is equal to 0 is one equation then a square x plus b square y plus c square z is the second equation and then we have this third equation and we have to find the values of x, y and z in terms of a, b and c. So just apply the rule of cross multiplication. By applying rule of cross multiplication you get x over bc square minus b square c is equal to y over c a square c a square minus c square a is equal to is equal to z over a b square minus a square b and we will say that let us say that this expression is equal to k. So now we can express x in terms of k and a b c's. So x is equal to k times, let us take bc as a common factor, so bc times what you have is c minus b, yeah. y is equal to k times, we can take ca as a common factor, ca times a minus c. and z is equal to k times a b times b minus a. Now we will put these values of x, y, z in the third equation. So what we have is x plus y plus z. So k is common so we will take k as a common factor and we get bc times c minus b or let us do, do one thing let us let us take minus k as a common factor the reason I am taking minus k as a common factor is because you can see that there is b minus c c minus a and a minus b over here so i also want my expressions to be b minus c c minus a and a minus b so if we take common factor as minus k we'll get bc times b minus c plus ca times c minus a plus a b times a minus b plus this expression over here which is b minus c times c minus a times a minus b now this has been given to be equal to 0 so what we know is from this expression what we can conclude is b minus c times c minus a times a minus b is equal to k times bc b minus c 
plus C A C minus A plus A B A minus B. I have just taken K to the right hand side and this is what we will get. So now how to solve for K? For so for solving for K, I would again want you to look at let us look at let us again look at a minus b sorry let us again look at p minus q times q minus r times r minus p so we know that we will get minus p r minus q square plus q r times r minus p which is equal to p q r minus p r square Q square R plus Q R square minus P square Q plus P square R plus p q square minus p q r so minus p q r plus p q r cancels out now let us take p q as a common factor ok in problem number 25 we were dealing with the same expression but we took p square as a common factor but now we are taking PQ as a common factor. So if you take PQ as a common factor, what you will get is you have PQ over here. So Q minus Q minus P. Okay. These two. Then let us take QR as a common factor. So what you will get is QR is over here. So you will get R minus Q. So these two. And finally, if we take RP as a common factor, so what we have is have P minus R which we can write as minus PQ times P minus Q plus QR times Q minus R plus R P times R minus P. So it seems that this, this result is very important. Okay. So what we know is that this expression can be written as this expression It 
can be written as this expression and it can also be written as minus p square q minus r plus q square r minus p plus r square p minus q so p minus q q minus r r minus p can be written as this expression and also this expression so right now we will use this expression so what we know is that what we know is that this expression is equal to k times minus of this expression so it is k times minus d minus t c minus a and a minus b so we will get k is equal to minus 1 so if k is equal to minus 1 our x is going to be bc times b minus c I just multiplied minus 1 over here y is going to be c a times c minus a and z is going to be a b times a minus b and we are done